यो व्हाट्सअप गायस प्रज्ञान हेयर करेंटली ए सेकेंड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट एम्स न्यू डेली एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ स्पिलिंग आउट सीक्रेट्स एंड टूडे विद दस वी हैव बोरा वरुण हु वॉज ऑलरेडी रैंक वन इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ही स्कोर्ड फुल मार्क्स एंड प्रिटी श्योर यू गैज ऑलरेडी नो हिम बट आई वुड स्टिल आस्क हिम टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिमसेल्फ टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाई एवरी वन आई एम वरुण चक्रवर्ती बोरा आई सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन बाई स्कोरिंग सेवन ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन ट्वेंटी इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री करंटली आई एम स्टडिंग इन एम्स डेली So guys let's get into it So now I'll tell us about your paper attempting strategy So um it I think uh paper attempting strategy is unique to each and every student and it is uh, their hard work and they they, they have to make it work uh, how to attempt the like what is the order of the subject they should attempt in it because what i used to done in the ini- uh, during ini- initially i used to do in the same order the paper given like biology physics and chemistry and beech mein i have changed like i i started doing physics first and then biology and then chemistry but uh, obviously there is a general pattern that whatever the first subject you will do there is a good amount of pressure on it and whatever the last subject do you do there is a high chance that you won't get the enough time for it so i i kept these two points in my mind and according to me like for me biology though is like there is a good chance you get you can get twisted questions but i can handle it under pressure uh like or oh, i can do the with the same speed uh, like i can do at least 10 to 20 questions in f- Uh, at least 10 minutes so that i am able to do that but when it came to physics it, with such a l- amount of pressure i used to i am not able to do that many questions so i have kept biology in the first and then as i said like i am able to adjust chemistry even the very smallest amount of time possible like i ha- i am able to do chemistry in at least 30 minutes because most of the questions are like theoretical and there are very few problematic questions so what i did is i started with biology beech mein i have st- uh, done physics and lastly i have done chemistry and i think it worked out for me but i don't say that what i have done should be working for you but i am saying like you should be able to i think these points are common for everyone like first subject is very pressurizing and the last subject is there is a high chance you don't get good amount of time so you remember these two points and you can plan your uh, order of subjects so the next one is how did you keep yourself motivated and focused during your preparation so for me actually the key is competition like uh, the institution where i used to study there are good amount of students who used to study like me so like even when i get good marks there is a i i used to think there is a good chance they also get good marks whenever i get less marks like uh, i i am thinking like i should be uh, like beating them like beating them in the next exam so like uh, though comp- like thinking to beat them is not a good idea but having a healthy competition will keep you focused and hard working throughout your journey so i think for this i think most of the students should leave their home and go to places where they have high competition so i, I like i suggest to leave home for these two years if it if, if it is the case you have to get good competition right absolutely but don't let this competition get a toll over your mental health so that should be a healthy competition as you said uh so what is your say about short notes did you prepare them and if yes how did you prepare them so short notes is actually a key feature which is required during revision actually because whenever you are studying things again in revision and after like revision may span for at least 6 months whatever the subject you are studying in the last 3 months are very good like you will be re- able to remember very well but the subjects which are studied in the first 3 months there is a high chance you will forget at least 30% so w- one of my mentors recommended me like you should be uh, like there is a process to uh, re- uh, write a short notes because like whenever you are reading a chapter for the first time if you try to make short notes uh, you will write i think you will write the entire book as short notes because whatever the point you read you will remember it as a important point and you will write in your note so i don't recommend that but i think you should be at least reading this chapter at least one to two times and you are 
giving at least two to three uh, like that whole chapter questions you have to give like if there is like either from your institution questions or from any other reference you have to complete that chapter using that book and you have to practice as many questions as possible from that chapter and then you will understand like what the points you are not able to understand and the what the points you are not able to remember so whatever the points there there are uh, you are writing in the short notes should be either it should you are not able to remember them or you are not able to understand them i think other than that you should be not uh, you should not be writing anything like even if it is important you should not be writing if you write like that then the whole like one chapter will span for at least 10 to 15 page it it won't help you so for writing short notes i think last 6 months before neat is the best time and you will be uh, and it is very important because you can't read the entire ncert just before 10 days of neat because it will pressurize your mind so much and you are not able to give even good amount of mock tests because it takes most of your time so short notes is good but you should be uh, even preparing well before writing short notes so that was a good point that you should not write the important things in your short note you should write the things which you are not able to understand or not able to remember properly so the next one is uh, what was your daily routine and how many hours you studied per day so actually my routine is mostly based uh, academic not uh, on my health because it is a residential so they used to provide not high class facilities but facilities which are good but my daily academic routine used to be like i like i think punctuality is very important for anything like uh, any class or any in any field uh, like i used to wake up uh, whatever the time i used to wake up but i i should be attending the class 5 minutes before because if i am missing the class i think every student feel that because if you are coming late to class i think you will feel some regretting feeling and you will waste at least 1 hour or 1 and a half hour so i used to be punctual and i whenever i think for me morning is very good time to uh, like uh, remember things so i used to read biology in the morning and then uh, mostly i used to do like uh, the problematic questions like physics mostly during my afternoon and uh, afternoon period because i think i feel most sleepy during that time so if i do physics i am not uh, like that much sleepy and during night i used to read chemistry uh, ncert and uh, used to do most of the problems of ncert so i think morning is biology afternoon physics and evening is chemistry so what were the approximate timings if you remember yeah timings of your coaching and the time timing of your self study what time you slept what time you woke up so actually uh, i'm like you should be sacrificing your sleep during your need preparation because like you won't get a good 8 hour sleep uh, during your need preparation i used to get at least but it is very important you should be taking at least 7 hour sleep because um, without sleep uh, whatever the work you will done during the morning and evening will be wasted so i recommend this you should have at least 7 hour sleep and whatever i used to do is like uh, i used to give at least daily 3 to 4 hours per biology and then like e- during uh, first phase of revision but gradually i decreased at the time and for physics there is a common time like i give 2 to 2 and a half hour for ev- every day and for chemistry i give 2 to 3 hours i think but it varies actually one day i used to study more biology one day i used to study more chemistry like that but i think at least there is like 8 hours of study every day uh i think it's highly sufficient but as you progress towards it i think most of the students don't face any problem to study 10 hours a day okay so were you a night owl or an early bird so studying night is uh, for me is very like very hard for me because i can't control my sleep so i used i used to wake up uh, by 5 to 5:30 and i used to start studying like it take me half an hour to get dressed up or taking a bath and like whatever the things i have to do in the morning and obviously i am early early riser okay nice 
सो नाउ दिस वन इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन डिस्क्राइब योर फीलिंग्स आफ्टर सिक्योरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन एंड गेटिंग टू नो दैट यू आर गोइंग इन टू एम्स डेली सो एक्चुअली इनिशियल बिफोर गिविंग नीट प्रिपरेशन आई यूज टू थिंक लाइक गेटिंग एयर वन इज अ बिग थिंग सो एंड इवन इट यूज टू की प्रेजर ऑन मी इवन फ्रॉम दैट टाइम बट वेन आई स्टार्टेड कोचिंग माई फिजिक्स टीचर टोल्ड मी लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक इट्स ए लक टू गेट ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन बट इट्स नेवर ए लक टू गेट ऑल इंडिया टॉप ट्वेंटी और टॉप थर्टी रैंक बिकॉज वन बीट मे डिसाइड युअर रैंक फ्रॉम वन टू थर्टी और वन टू फिफ्टीन बट इट्स नॉट लाइक यू आर गेटिंग टॉप थर्टी इट इज युअर हार्ड वर्क यू आर गेटिंग टॉप हंड्रेड इट इज युअर हार्ड वर्क एंड लक वो ऑन डिसाइड इट सो आफ्टर लिजनिंग टू हिम आई रियलाइज इट दैट and even i think most of the neat aspirants or people who given neat will understand this because it's not about getting rank all india one or getting all india top 100 it's always about how much you give for your uh, preparation and how much result you get i think so uh, i'm not thinking of all india one before uh, this final key there is a preliminary key given in which i got 715 still i am very happy with that result because I I am not thinking of all India one, but I got seven fifteen, and I am sure that I will get into AIMS Delhi. My whatever my goal is there, it is completed, so I am happy. Obviously, getting air one will give extra happiness. I don't uh, deny that, but still, I say like keeping to keeping like fixing all India one. This will keep unnecessary pressure on you. Whatever I want to say, like when you you should believe that whenever you do enough hard work, you will get the enough result. So basically, you want to say that you should give your hundred percent in everything that you are doing, and then just forget about the results. You will get the results by yourself. That is absolutely correct. So, guys, now comes the fun part of the video, the rapid fire round. So, Varun, are you ready? Yes. Okay. So now, next question is really interesting. Uh, complete the names of these chapters according to NCERT. So you all know that you got rank one, and you are really good with NCERT. Let's see how much you remember now. So the first chapter is dash in food production. I think stra- strategies of food production. Ah, uh, stra- uh, strategies of food production. No, it's incomplete. Okay. One, one more word. Strategies. Stra- strategies for. Ah, uh, strategies. I think strategies and development of food production. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It is strategies for enhancement in food production. Okay. <laughs> Next is ray optics and dash. Ah, ray optics and optical instruments. Nice. Biodiversity and dash conservation. Okay, and its conservation. Dual nature of dash. Light. No. There are two words. Okay, Ma- matter, matter and uh, light. Ah, uh, ma- matter and radiation. Yeah, dual nature of radiation and matter. Oh. It's correct. So you performed quite well in this as well. So before we end this, what would be your final message for the aspirants? So, ah, uh, like, beside. doing a good amount of preparation you should be also be ready for whatever you have to do while giving exam in neat in your neat center so i highly recommend like you should be inculcating the neat exam atmosphere while you are attempting your mock tests or complete syllabus tests and also you should be practicing like you should be able to control uh, like you are not you, if you are not able, uh, allowed to go to washrooms then you should be able to give the exam even in that situation also so like you may not be allowed to uh, like uh, do questions on your question paper except on the rough space so for you you should be able to do all these things uh, like you should be able to survive all these difficulties even if you are facing this in your center uh, apart from this uh, like you give 100% you will get 100% Don't waste your time or don't even think of the result. Thank you, and all the best for NEET. So that was a really good message, and I'm pretty sure guys you got to learn a lot from Olympia Rank One himself. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the next episode. And thank you so much, Bora Varun, for coming on the channel. Thank you. Signing off. Bye bye.